Hey everyone and welcome to another XIM tutorial. Today I want to show you my Borderlands 3 config tutorial for XIM Apex. First off, thanks to everyone who became a channel member so far. Without your support this config tutorial would have not come out that quickly. So extra shoutouts to all the members out there. Thank you, really. If you also want to become a channel member then check out the channel membership program in the video description to get some extra benefits. Now about Borderlands 3, while the game works pretty well with the Xim, it has one major problem. The turn speed of the game is really really slow and there isn't really anything you can do about it. Turning around very quickly with a fast mouse swipe just isn't possible. Instead you have to move the mouse at a slow but constant speed to achieve a high turn speed. I'll address this later in more detail. But before we jump into the Borderlands 3 tutorial, this config guide doesn't require any special features that the XIM4 doesn't have, so if you are a XIM4 user, then you can use this config without any problems too. Now about the structure of this video. First I will go over the necessary preparation steps that are required for this config. I'll also give some tips about what in-game settings result in a better game experience. After that I'll show you what in my opinion are the best HIP and ADS config settings for Borderlands 3. In the third topic I will show you a trick with which you can navigate through your Borderlands inventory and the world map a lot easier. But let's start with the first topic, the necessary preparation steps. As always the first preparation step is to adjust your XIM polling rate. You can do that in the global settings of your XIM manager. If you cannot see the polling rate settings then tick the expert mode at the top. For Borderlands 3 I recommend to use either 500 or 1000 Hz depending on what polling rate your mouse runs better on. If you are unsure what polling rate works best with your mouse, then I would recommend you to do one of the three benchmark tests that I demonstrated in my polling rate tutorial. Such a test will only take around one minute. You can find a link to the video in the video description. Once you have adjusted your XIM polling rate, you can hit the save button in the bottom right. After that, leave this menu and restart your XIM Apex. A restart is necessary or else your polling rate changes will not become active, so just unplug your XIM from the console and plug it back in again. For your XIM4 users out there, your XIM4 runs in a locked 125Hz polling rate, so you can ignore these polling rate changes. The second step is about the correct in-game settings. Click on the wrench button in the bottom right of the Borderlands 3 logo in your XIM manager. After that press the yes button in the following pop-up window and you will be forwarded to the XIM forum. There you can find the in-game settings for Borderlands 3 that your XIM needs to give you the best mouse movements. As you can see this game requires a few adjustments to perfectly work with your XIM. So start your game now and adjust its settings. I already adjusted my settings to match the mandatory options, you should do that too now. Next to the mandatory adjustments I recommend you to change the following settings for a better game experience. The first one is the graphic options. There you can switch the preference to performance instead of resolution. This will give you a few more frames. A PlayStation Pro or Xbox One X might be required for this option though. The second change is about the field of view. By default it is set to 90 which is a little bit low for a game like Borderlands. In my opinion a field of view of 100 works much better with the game. You shouldn't use more than that though or else you might experience some frame drops. The third adjustment is in the audio settings. Unless you play on a TV, you should change the audio settings to headphones. This will give you a much better sound stage to locate enemies around you. Of course you can also use your own options, the ones I just showed you are just a suggestion. Now that your in-game settings are correct, you can go back to your XIM manager. The next topic is about the HIP and ADS config. Click on the edit button in the top left to start the configuration mode of your Borderlands 3 XIM profile. In the first screen you can adjust the configuration light and the hotkey button. I'm using a yellow color and my hotkey is the F1 key. That allows me to load my Borderlands 3 XIM config whenever I want to by pressing the F1 key on my keyboard. My XIM will then show a yellow LED light as a confirmation that the correct config is running. After that expand the advanced settings right below. Here you should tick the box for the maximum turn speed notification if it isn't active already. This will greatly help you to get a feeling for how fast you can move your mouse on the mousepad. Whenever your XIM shows a red blinking you are moving your mouse faster than you can turn in the game. In that case either move the mouse slower or reduce your XIM sensitivity. This will then result in a faster turn speed. Now let's swipe to the right to enter the hip menu. The first thing you should do here is to adjust your synchronization settings. In my opinion synchronization default and common give the best mouse movements in Borderlands 3. Default works great for slow sensitivities while common is better for mid to fast sensitivities. 
My sensitivity in Borderlands 3 is rather average, which is why I'll go with comment for this tutorial. For Borderlands 3 the synchronization doesn't play such a big role as in other games. Except for synchronization slow, all of the available sync profiles play really really well. For the smoothest mouse movements I'd still recommend to use default in common though. Once you have adjusted your synchronization value, you can continue by adjusting your hip sensitivity. I use a sensitivity of 35 with a mouse DPI value of 3200. If you are unsure what DPI value works best for your setup, then you can watch my Xim mouse DPI tutorial. Usually too much DPI can cause mouse stutter. I also have a tutorial on my channel on how to find your optimal mouse sensitivity with which you have the highest accuracy. In case you do not know with what Xim sensitivity value you should play with. Now about the three new XIM features Boost, Steady Aim and Simulate Analog Behavior. None of these three features are really helpful for Borderlands 3. The game just doesn't need them, as the aim assist is really well balanced. So by using those three features you would only reduce your aiming and movement accuracy. Therefore it is best to keep those options on default. Now scroll down a little bit until you can see the button bindings. Here you can either copy my button layout that you can see right now or you go with your own one. If you want to use the inventory config later, then you should memorize the following two button bindings though. The first one is the button that I bound to the touchpad, in my case the tabulator key. It's the key that brings up your inventory in the game. The second button that you should memorize is the key you bound to crouch, so in my case the left control key. At the very bottom of your button bindings you can find the option to switch to the secondary button bindings. There you can bind every controller action a second time. I have no need for this though. Once your button bindings are complete, you can swipe to the right in your hip menu to enter the ADS configuration. Again, the first thing you should do here is to adjust your synchronization settings. To have the same mouse feeling between hip and ADS, I usually recommend to use the same synchronization for both. So I'll go with common again. The next thing you should do is to adjust your aimed on sight sensitivity. My preferred XIM aimed on sight sensitivity for Borderlands 3 is 25. Just like before, if you prefer to use a higher or lower value, then that's perfectly fine. Just make sure that you use a sensitivity with which you have a really good aim. Your general Borderlands 3 configuration is now complete. In the last few minutes of this video, I will now show you a trick with which you can control the inventory menu and the world map of the game in a much easier way. For that we will use a sub configuration. So start by swiping one more time to the right until you access a new auxiliary config. Click on the enable button to activate it. As you can see I already renamed the sub configuration in advance. For you it will be named auxiliary 1. You can of course rename the configuration too now if you want to. Now the first thing you should do is to untick the inherit box at the very top. After that you can bind an activation key. Do you still memorize the inventory button from your hip config? Mine is the tabulator key and it is also the activation key for the sub configuration. On the right side of the activation key you have to set the activation method to toggle. So tick the box right next to it. After that expand the advanced settings right below. There you have to set the delay to 50 milliseconds. As a deactivation key you now have to bind your crouch button from your hip config. My crouch button is the left control key. The next thing to do is to adjust the sensitivity. It should be twice as fast as your hip sensitivity. Since my hip sensitivity is 35 I will go with 50 for the sub configuration. This will ensure that you can tilt the world map up and down much easier. Now expand the advanced settings right below and pick the same synchronization that you use in your hip configuration. For me that means I will go with common again. The last important step comes now. Scroll down to the button bindings. There you have to make quite some adjustments now. Start by deleting your touchpad button which you use to launch the inventory in the game. It's the same button that you had to memorize, so set this button binding to none or else the sub configuration will not work. You do that by double clicking onto that button binding. After that you can scroll up again and start to copy my button bindings. With 3 and 4 you can zoom in and out of the world map. 1 and 2 are used in the world map for missions and waypoints. Mouse forward and backward allow you to swipe to the left and right in your inventory menu. With WASD you can navigate up, down, left or right. The last important step is the crouch key. It has to be the same key as in your hip configuration. Of course you can also use your own button bindings, but these work very well in my opinion. If you have bound any actions in your secondary button bindings, then please delete those now. My secondary button bindings are all set to none, which is very important for the sub configuration. 
So how does the sub configuration work now? If you want to use your inventory, just press your regular inventory button. This will automatically also activate the sub configuration. When you want to close the inventory menu, you can just press the same button again, or you use your crouch key. The game will close the inventory and your Xim will automatically switch back to your regular Borderlands 3 config. There is one exception though. If you use the quick travel option, you will have to press the crouch key afterwards to reset the sub configuration. Otherwise, you will continue to play with your inventory config. Your Borderlands 3 configuration is now complete. You can hit the save button in the top left and exit the configuration mode. As always, you can find the copy and paste code for this whole Borderlands 3 configuration in the video description down below. If you have any questions about the Xim or about this Borderlands reconfiguration, just ask in the comments down below. Guys, if you like this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. And for the crazy guys out there, you can even become a channel member now, I'd really really appreciate that. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below. But that's about it for this video guys, thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.